Hello, hi, my name is Taylor. I am an indie author. This is my book, Venture Below. It is a young adult fantasy. All around, I think it's a good time. So if you wanna check out Venture Below, the link will be down below. It's available on Kindle, Kindle Unlimited, as an ebook, whatever suits your fancy. But today, today, we're gonna be working on the second book in this series again. I did this writing for 24 hours challenge back in February. It went really well. I wrote, I think about 10,000 words and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I haven't written since then. There are, of course, reasons, each one of them an excuse on my part. I just, I miss writing so, so much. And to be honest, the timeline I have for wanting to publish this book is fast approaching and I am nowhere near being done. Later on in this video I will explain why and just kind of where my head has been in terms of writing this book. I'm just gonna share my experience with you if you are interested in that. First, let me start off by explaining what I'm writing. I already told you it's the second book in the series. <sighs> hold on, hold on. I'm gonna do something a little crazy right now. I'm gonna do a little title reveal and tell you a little bit about what the next book in the series is about as well as the tagline for it. But first, let me explain a little bit about this book. It's called Venture Below, okay? The tagline is survive or let the truth die pretty high stakes right off the bat. This one is about Princess Adelaide, who is the daughter of the king that is assassinated, and her evil mother takes the throne. She's trying to find out what happened to her dad. How was he killed? Who did it? Why did they do it? There's a bunch of mystery going on, a lot of... <laughs> There's just a lot that goes on in this book, is all I'm gonna say. Will Adelaide find the truth, or will she die trying? That's what this book is about, okay? The second book in the series, really, you're gonna understand what it's about if you've read the first book, but you can still kind of get the vibe for it if you haven't. The second book is called Venture Beyond, and the tagline of that book is, Truth is Shattered. If we thought the stakes were high in the first book, they just get amplified. But the second book is going to be in Riley's perspective. Yeah, remember, remember her? Yeah. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about it. I'm super excited. Writing Riley is totally different than writing Adelaide. She's a lot more angsty, rebellious, sassy, definitely more morally gray than a lot of the characters I've written. She is just honestly one of my favorite characters to write right now. There's also a love interest in Venture Beyond who I am like giggling and kicking my feet about. Oh my God, I can't stand them. They are just so cute and I love them so much. So yeah, that's a little bit about Venture Beyond. This is like the fourth round that Venture Beyond has gone through in terms of writing, not even editing. Trust me, I know. I have written it to completion one time Mm -hmm. It was almost like shoving puzzle pieces into place where you just know they don't belong is how that draft felt and this one feels like they're just sliding into place like everything is happening. I do have the entire rest of the series plotted. I am open to making changes that follow the character and the world better. The only problem with that is that I don't really have a clear bullet point vision for the end of the book. That's so great. I am sitting at about 25,000 words in this draft, which is not ideal because I want it to be about 60. That's why I thought this 24 hour writing challenge would be helpful because I just, I haven't written since and I'll get to my reasons later, but you guys holding me accountable via this vlog would be helpful. So that is what we are gonna be doing. In terms of the challenge itself, what I did last time was I wrote for like 12 hours one day and then 12 hours the other day because 24 hours total, I just feel like my brain will turn to mush and the writing will be useless. Basically the terms are that I have to write every single hour and that's about it. I'm, I think my goal is gonna to be to write like a thousand words an hour. That would be insane. Could I do that? I could do that. I could do that. Oh my gosh, I could do that. No, I'm not gonna do that. Maybe 500 words an hour. It just depends. If it's flowing, then it's gonna be flowing. Last night, I reread everything I had written and I couldn't help but edit it a little bit. And good news, it's better than I thought it was. That's always fun. It wasn't total trash that I needed to set on fire. I'm very happy about that. So now, 
I'm ready to literally jump into it and get to writing. Last night I also made this little writing tracker, which I had a lot of fun doing. I've seen different people do this for like reading challenges and stuff, but I wanted to do one for this challenge. Last time I did a tracker and it did not turn out very good at all, but this is a new journal I have and I am so happy with how it turned out. I love it. I'm super excited to just color in these blocks as we go. I'm waiting for my laptop to stop updating and then I can get to writing. I am going to be starting the challenge at 10 o'clock, which it just hit 10 o'clock. So this is the first hour I'm going to be writing and hopefully it goes well. That's enough chit chatting. I will talk to you later and give you a little update, but we need to get to writing. Quick little update, it is 10.53 and I have written 285 words. But I've really only been writing for like 10, 15 minutes because that's when my laptop finally stopped updating. I did just finish this chapter and we went in a direction that was really dark. It totally makes sense, but wow, it's really sad and dark actually. But now we're about to move into the meat of this book. I would consider this where it's like shit hits the fan and it's just, you go from zero to 60 real fast. We're about to hit that point, but I'm gonna update my little tracker. a playlist for Venture Beyond and I think I need to put something else on because it's like every single song is hitting. I made it specifically for certain characters so it's like I'm feeling for said characters and the song I just listened to is like so painful and then another amazing song just came on so I think I'm gonna put like lo-fi on so I don't get distracted. It's only 11 o'clock and I've written one sentence in this hour because I've just been listening to these songs so I'm gonna go ahead and put lo-fi on and play. You guys, you guys, you guys, you guys. It was flowing. Oh my god, I don't remember the last time writing was flowing like that. It is now 12 o'clock. I wrote roughly 650 words. I didn't start writing until like 11.20. I had a hard time visualizing a certain structure in my head, so I had to do a little bit of research. And oh my god, the line I just said. Let me just redo this a little bit, okay? He yelled again. It was my name, followed by one lone word. Run. This chat, I'm shaking. You don't understand what's about to happen right after that paragraph. Full body chills right now. I'm about to throw up. This is insane. Woo! Uh, we're too done. Right now I have a total of 934 words and I feel like the rest of this chapter is gonna fly by. It's gonna be insane. And then I think I'm gonna have a little bit of a lull because I don't really know where I'm going after this insane scene. I only have like 22 more hours of this to go. I just came into the office because I'm gonna do some writing in here. It is now basically two o'clock. I did just, I just wrote the beginning to a really crazy scene. I'm super excited about my next little writing session. In that hour, I think I wrote almost 900 words. Also, my battery is about to die on my camera. So I'm gonna write in here and then I will see you back in the house. I'll color in my blocks and I'll give you an update. We are officially in the seventh hour of this challenge. Things are going swimmingly. Are you making a pina colada? I am. I am now at 3,628 words. I've written three chapters, so that's pretty cool. It is now four o'clock. I did take a little bit of a break and watch some of Acadia's reading vlog just to like 
distance myself. But I wrote like 700 words in 20 minutes, so that was pretty cool. This chapter, I'm what? I didn't see that you had your camera set up, so I wasn't sure if you were talking to me. <laughs> no. But like I saw your tripod, I'm like, there's no camera on it. Things are going really, really well. I'm about to finish this chapter. To be honest, I don't really know where I'm gonna go with the plot after. So I'm probably gonna take like a little brainstormy break and then jump right back into it. We're still we're still in it to win it, guys. We're still in it. Okay, so I just need to worry about what is happening right now. Mainly her have a lot to catch up on. We are officially in the 11th hour of this challenge. I have fully tapped out of every idea I had plotted so far. So I am really slacking. I am still writing every hour. As you saw, I took some brain breaks. I think I'm gonna try to get through this hour and then write a little bit in the 12th hour so that I can have 12 hours done. <laughs> How do I put this? There's like, a big plot event about to happen maybe within like the next i'd say two chapters but it's honestly just that like a plot point i don't really have the details fleshed out so i don't know if i should try to do like a little brainstorm i need to eat i legitimately ate breakfast drank my coffee i've now had two cokes two big things of my water i had chocolate a rice crispy and I think a handful of chips and it's nine o'clock now so I should probably eat some dinner I really need to brainstorm because even after the major event happens I could not tell you couldn't tell you what's gonna happen why am I still holding that we are now at 30,000 words oh my god Okay, I'm so hungry, all I can think about is the pit in my stomach. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat, try to write for the next two hours, and then I'm gonna go to bed. <laughs> welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new, I'm B. Day two of this challenge. What could go wrong? Yesterday, I completed half of this challenge by writing for 12 hours straight. That just means I have to write for 12 more hours. Last night, I was in a pretty rough place. I wrote 5,482 words yesterday. Today could go one of two ways. I can either hit a stride, things are gonna flow out of me, the plot's gonna just happen, or it could be worse than yesterday and I could just be sitting here staring at a blank page for hours on end writing 100 words an hour. It could honestly go either way right now. I just wrote for the past like 20 or so minutes. I wrote about 300 words. I knew what I wanted the parameters to be for this scene, but I didn't have how I would execute it by any means. So it was very slow moving to write it out. I think it turned out pretty cool. I'm not done with the scene, but I need to take a break because I can't see the rest of the scene right now. So I thought I would take this time before we really like get into the meat of today and my brain fully shuts down that I would kind of share with you how I've been feeling as an indie author and a writer in general. So if you want to just continue on with the challenge and not stick around for this little chatty part, that's totally cool. I recommend, you know, taking this as a little intermission, maybe grabbing a little drink, a snack. Just kind of treat this as like a podcast or a friend confiding in you. <laughs> 
The first story I can ever remember really making up and typing out on a computer was when I was like seven or eight years old. Stories just kept coming out of me. I remember I just had notebooks full of stories. When I graduated high school and stepped into being a 20-something, I still loved writing, but it fell so far on the back burner. I just didn't even think it was in the realm of possibilities for me. When I set out to write Venture below. It was a small idea I had to rewrite a book I wrote when I was in middle school. The story was not written well because it was written by an eighth grader, but the ideas were really good. So I reread it and it clicked in my head that the book I'd written in eighth grade could be the first book in a series and the second book in the series would be a book I had written when I was a senior in high school. So these books and these characters have been with me for 10 years plus. It's just really hard sometimes to, I think, let plot structures go that just don't fit anymore because I've had them ingrained in my head as being what the story was going to be for so long. That is the back back story on the Venture series. So when I wrote Venture Below, it took me a few months, maybe a few weeks. It just, I was so obsessed <laughs> in the best way possible. I would stay up, I would make a pot of coffee at 10 p.m. and like not go to bed until 3 a.m. because I was so enthralled with writing this world. I remember getting the first test copy and opening the package and I feel like when most people would have this sense of accomplishment or this feeling of, I don't know, like I made it, like this is my book, this is my baby, you know, I felt disappointed. And I still feel that first initial reaction even now. I feel almost like this sense of shame that I'm like a little embarrassed of it because it's not a perfect book. I know that even reading it now, there are so many things I cringe at that I wish I could go back and change. So maybe I'll come out with the new edition of that book, but I just didn't ever feel the satisfaction that I'd seen in other people's reactions when they get their test copies and stuff like that on TikTok and stuff. But even now it's really hard for me to promote my book because I have such crippling like imposter syndrome that I'm I'm afraid of people reading it, to be honest. <laughs> Before I even published Venture Below, I just kept wanting to edit it. I kept wanting to revisit it and like change things and constantly pick it apart. Finally, I just had this realization of like, it's never gonna be perfect. Like, I can fix stuff right now and then in two years look back and be like, that was trash too. Like I need to redo it. And it's just, we're constantly evolving, I think as writers, but as people. And so there just is no such thing as a perfect book to ever. Everyone. And I still have such a hard time accepting that <laughs> because I just know it's true. I mean, there's there's people out there that hate Song of Achilles. There's people for every type of book and I know that. But it's still such a hard thing to accept because I really struggle with like perfectionism and wanting to please everybody, which I'm accepting a lot more. It's just, it's a universal truth that you can never make everybody happy. It doesn't make it easier, you know? I just feel like over time, Venture Beyond has gone through so much transformation. The plot for Venture Beyond has been so cemented that I felt trapped and that I had to write it a specific way, that I couldn't break the mold from what the plot was and what it had been for the past 10 years. So it took me quite a bit of time to accept that I could take characters out that had been there from the very beginning. I could take out different things that like just don't belong and make it really messy and muddy so that I have the draft I have right now. In seeing all of the flaws from my first book in terms of my writing, I feel like every time I sit down at my computer to write, all I'm seeing are the mistakes that I don't want to make. Every time I type a word in my head, I'm thinking, oh, is that me using this phrase too much? And then I'll delete it and then I'll just stop and I'll think about it and I'll overanalyze it and I'll just constantly be like stopping myself from making progress because I'm thinking about all of the things I 
don't want to do. I don't know how to balance becoming a better writer and actually writing right now. So writing has been tough for me. I haven't really found the enjoyment in it that I once had. It hasn't made me happy in the way that I think it should because I've been putting so much pressure on myself to write a certain way and to write perfectly, which I'm never going to. I'm trying really hard to accept that some people are gonna read it and not connect with the book and not connect with my characters and not connect with the plot and that's okay and there are gonna be people who love it. What I do know is that I want to let myself be passionate again about writing. Like I imagine myself being you, hearing me and just being like, who cares? Like as long as you're passionate about it and you love doing it or you want to love doing it again, you wanna publish this book, who cares what other people are gonna think. To be honest, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just doing my best, trying to get my little story into the world, not be ashamed of it, acknowledge that it's hard work and that it takes time, that it's not gonna be perfect. Everybody isn't for me, so why would I assume I'm for everybody? I'm gonna go cry now and think about what I need to write for the rest of these 11 hours. <laughs> how to put this, so I'm just gonna say it. I failed the challenge. I wrote for 16 hours. Am I gonna fill this out to completion? Probably. I am just exhausted. Like I keep almost falling asleep. I think the last hour I actually counted like as writing was one o'clock and it's 5.46. I'm super behind and technically I would have to stay up until like midnight to actually beat this challenge. Everything I've been saying about where I'm at with my writing too, I just don't want to put even more pressure on myself when I'm already struggling with feeling the pressure. My battery's about to die. Let me, let me change my battery. So I am going to call it quits for the challenge for today. I'm tapped out creatively right now. It's a lot going from writing nothing for the past few months to then forcing myself to try to write 10,000 words. It's just not, it's just not gonna happen. I just have to accept it. I'm still excited about this project. I'm still hoping to publish this project in November. I'm not gonna say a date yet. I probably shouldn't have even told you the month, but there's a specific date I would love for this book to be put out. I'm not really sure if it's gonna happen, but it's my goal. And now that I really dove headfirst into writing again, I think the ball's just gonna keep rolling. I'm really hopeful that I'm gonna be creatively passionate about writing again. I'm really bummed I didn't complete the challenge, but at the same time, who cares? <laughs> Like I gave it my all and I wrote really good stuff and I am tapping out before it stops being really good Give this video a like if you are excited about venture beyond and if you haven't checked out venture below I would really appreciate it if you did and showed me some love and support Make sure to comment down below if you comment down below a heart emoji could be any heart emoji you want I will respond with a joke. I'm not saying it's gonna be funny, but it will be a joke Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time that I post a new video I'll see you in the next one. Bye.